If you asked a T-Rex who gave them the worst day of their life, it wouldn't be Spinosaurus, Giganotosaurus, or any other sharp-toothed celebrity from a different era. Nope. The only confirmed creature to ever injure the tyrant king was a herbivore. Meet the one beast that dared square up to a T-Rex and left battle scars behind. Triceratops. Yes, the three-horned tank you saw in coloring books wasn't just a gentle leaf nibbler. It was a walking fortress. And in some cases, a living nightmare. But Triceratops wasn't born famous. In fact, it was misclassified as a bison when its first fossil, just the brow horns, was found in 1887. Legendary paleontologist O.C. Marsh took one look and said, Yup, prehistoric cow. He named it Bison Altacornis and called it a day, realizing only later, after a skull with three horns was dug up, did Marsh realize this wasn't a cow. It was a game changer. Triceratops, meaning three-horned face, officially entered the Fossil Hall of Fame, and it wasn't just the horns that made headlines. It was everything. At up to 30 feet long and 12 tons in weight, this dino wasn't just big. It was dense. Its bones were so thick that its femur could match or outclass an African elephant's, and its skull could span over eight feet. That's a third of its body length. Made of solid, head-smashing, horn-launching power, the two horns above his eyes were longer than a grown man's arm and likely covered in keratin, like rhino horns today, making them even longer and sharper in real life. But here's the twist. Those horns weren't just for fighting predators. Most paleontologists now believe Triceratops fought each other. Why? Mating rights. Territory. Pride. More than 14% of recovered skulls show horn puncture wounds, evidence of brutal intraspecies combat. Big John, the most famous Triceratops fossil, had a gaping wound in its frill and likely died from infection caused by another Triceratops. This was not a peaceful grazer. This was a heavyweight gladiator with trust issues. Still, Triceratops didn't pick fights for fun. They had to survive the Hell Creek formation. An ecosystem 66 million years ago that hosted gators, raptors, turtle tanks, and, casual, oh yeah, T-Rex. The apex predator that could crunch bones with 12,000 pounds of force. And yet, fossil records show that sometimes, Triceratops didn't run, they fought. One juvenile T-Rex was found with a shattered skull, broken fingers, and almost all his teeth snapped off. Another fossil, dubbed dueling dinosaurs, shows a T-Rex with a pierced femur. The size and shape of the hole? Perfect match for a Triceratops horn. A sneak attack? Maybe. But definitely not a clean win for the predator. Triceratops didn't need packs or herds. Unlike many Ceratopsians found in massive groups, Triceratops skeletons are usually discovered alone. Lone wanderers. No safety in numbers, just attitude, armor, and anatomy. They also had one of the most terrifying mouths in the plant-eating world. 800-plus teeth arranged in dental batteries, constantly replacing and sharpening themselves. They weren't munching lettuce. They were grinding down ferns, palms, and tough vegetation with surgical efficiency. And that beak, sharp enough to snip small branches. All of this made Triceratops not just a survivor, but a dominator. In some parts of North America, fossils suggest Triceratops made up nearly 70% of all dinosaur remains. And when the asteroid came, Triceratops may have been one of the last dinosaurs alive. One skull was found just 13 centimeters below the impact boundary, making it possibly the final face of the Mesozoic the last dinosaurs stand before the world went silent. So, if you ever think of Triceratops as just a horned cow, think again. It was the tank of the Cretaceous, the last rival of the T-Rex, the three-horned face that fought until the end.
and made sure no predator ever forgot that sometimes the herbivores bite back.